So I came in here to do what? Talk about losing Emily? Strauss put you up to this? The assessment's routine. I asked her to let me do it rather than bring in somebody from the outside. So let me guess, it's about the five stages of grief. You want to figure out where we all are. Hmm? All right. Denial. I'm fine. This can't be happening to me. Well, it didn't happen to me, did it? So that rules that out. What else is there? Bargaining. Depression. Acceptance. Well, obviously, I haven't accepted it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in here. So where does that leave me? Angry. Angry. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I want to quit my job and spend my time chasing down the son of a bitch who killed Emily. You're damn right I'm angry. Sixty seconds. If I had just gotten there sixty seconds earlier, Emily might still be with us. Derek, you know that you did everything you could. Yeah, yeah, I know. I did everything I could. We all did. I know. What, that's supposed to make me feel better? You protected each other for years. Don't expect this to go away anytime soon. This what? This what? This guilt? Just because you were the last one there doesn't mean that you could affect the outcome. We all wish we had that kind of control. So what do we do? We just chalk it up to fate? But I can't blame anybody? What, this is the will of God? No. I do blame somebody. I blame Doyle. Hodge, what am I supposed to do? She was my friend. I lost my friend right in front of me. And I'm supposed to go on like nothing happened? You know, we, um, we come in here and we talk to you. Where do you go? Where are you with all of this? Same place as you. Wishing she was here. I get it. We're a family, and it's important that families talk, and holding it in will just make this sick, sad feeling of awfulness more awful, right? Internalizing does make it worse. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, but I don't want to talk about her being gone. Can I talk about how she made me smile? Of course. Okay. Um... Last time I was on a couch like this was when my father left. They all thought I needed to talk, but... Developmentally, I wasn't guided by conscience. I could only reveal what my mother and teachers told me was acceptable. You told them exactly what you knew they wanted to hear. You don't have to do that here. It's just not fair that she's gone. It's like if we can't keep each other safe, then why are we even doing any of this? Sometimes I think maybe, maybe Gideon was right, you know, maybe, maybe it's just not worth it. There are benefits to meeting after hours. You know, everyone's feeling it and nobody wants to talk about it. It's too soon, Aaron. You know that better than anyone. And, um... Doesn't Strauss usually run these assessments? There was no way that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. And I also know that you grieve privately. But you've been through more than any of us in a very short time. How are you holding up? All right. I think it's an ongoing process. This is not my assessment. 
I'm supposed to be asking how you're doing. I've always had trouble letting people in. But this is different. I guess I've come to realize I'm more married to this team than I ever was to three ex-wives. It's been a hard year. We'll get through it. Yeah. We will. Emily and Haley. <laughs>